We have a small addition to the speeches tonight, so. Um, dear Gabby and Kevin, you guys go together like peanut butter and jelly. Both of you on your own are amazing, but together you make the best duo. I hope when I'm older, I'll meet someone like you who looks at me with so much love and care, just like you look at Gabby. Gabby and Kevin, I cannot believe the day has come that we are all gathered here to party. And of course, to celebrate the beginning of the rest of your lives. For everyone in this room who came here to witness love, we did not come here as passive witnesses. We also must give all of our energy, all of our effort, and all of our love. Can we all agree on that? No, 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 no. Can we all agree on that? there to witness the very beginning of Kevin and Gabby's love story. Gabby entered our lives when we were in peak bromance, and that took some getting used to. I was instantly struck by Gabby's beauty, confidence, and sense of humor. We chatted for a few minutes and discovered amazingly that we grew up about 20 miles apart in Miami. We both worked as sales reps in Austin for Oracle. Our cubicles were even on the same floor. I can say in full confidence that Kevin was obsessed with Gabby the second he laid eyes on her. I know this because he used to find every which way to pass our desks multiple times a day to check her out. When I first heard about that blonde girl that went to Michigan, the same one that Kevin would make eyes with at work while he was supposed to be cold calling, I'll admit, I was a little skeptical. One of my best friends and groomsmen, Zane, demanded that I find Gabby in the office and get her number. One day, this cute boy stopped by her desk and honestly, just would not leave. They chatted and chatted and he finally got her number. I could not wait for him to leave so that we could debrief. He had told me that he met a nice girl from Miami at work and I could tell he was really excited about her. And one day, I see Kevin all dressed up and ready to go out, wearing a crazy amount of perfume, <laughs> looking so handsome. It has been a true gift watching the two of you go from office flirts to where we are today. And now, in what seems like the blink of an eye, here we are tonight. <laughs> I could hear in Gabby's voice how special Kevin was. She told my dad, be nice, or think again about grandkids. <laughs> All I could ever want for my baby sister was someone who loved her unconditionally, who treated her with reverence, kindness, and respect. And most of all, someone who knew how absolutely crazy she was and came back for more. <laughs> Our family couldn't be more blessed that Kevin is all of those things and so much more. So here we are on the eve of your wedding. There's no doubt in my mind that you two were placed in this world to find one another. From going to rival high schools in Miami to working in the same office in Austin, 1,300 miles away, it seems fate or divine intervention was trying to put Gabby and I together for a long time. When you're born, God takes a soul and he tears it in half and he hopes that those halves again become reunited and you have found the other half of your soul. Gabby, you and I share a very special appreciation and love for diamonds. Sorry, Kev. <laughs> 
It's no coincidence, G, that you are my precious diamond. Multifaceted, sparkly, illuminating, self-reflecting and glowing. It is no surprise that you found your very own diamond in Kevin. I pray for you to see yourself how I see you. I pray we continue to be our goofiest, weirdest selves together and never hold anything back. I pray that we love each other always in the lightest of days and the darkest of nights. I pray we have healthy, strong children with an appreciation for life like you that have. That you bear sweet and beautifully loving children and athletic children. <laughs> <laughs> I pray that you always know I am here for you and that I love you forever and always. It is because of your love that you share with each other that you both can bring healing and love into our somewhat broken world. And we're just so blessed to be able to witness this beautiful moment as you become husband and wife. I look forward to being the drunk uncle you don't want at your parties. <laughs> the third wheel on all of our vacations. And watching you two grow a beautiful and successful life together. To the newlyweds, Gabby and Kevin!